top 10 iMovie shortcuts. So, since we're going to be using Craft Crunch's videos, since I couldn't find any of mine, let's give her a shout out. You can click, you can click the annotation right here to go to her channel or on the link down below. This li this list is going to be in chronological order, so uh, it's going to be starting off with number 10, and we're going to make our way down to number one. One being the most useful, and 10 being the least useful. So, starting off with number 10, voiceover. So you need voiceover for your video either because your microphone isn't too good or for some other reason. So let's find voiceover. Now, let's start off by going to file, not there, edit, not there, and we just keep looking through and we don't find it. Now let's look around the buttons. Music, oh no, that's not it. Wait, we have microphone, microphone recording. Oh, that's voiceover. Or we can simply click O on our keyboard and we will come up to voiceover. Okay, so you see this clip right here, it's kind of zoomed out. Now, I want to kind of do some Ken Burns to get closer there. Okay, so let's come over here. Ah, oh, man, I lost that clip part. Well, we'll get back to it. And we click that and we do cropping rotation that comes with Ken Burns. Okay, now we can do that and fix that. Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't have that part. Okay, let's, let's come. Let's control Z, Command Z that, so that goes away finally. So we want to zoom here. All we do is click C. That comes up. Ken Burns, and we can do our Ken Burns right there. This shortcut isn't working too well for me, but for number seven, we have the one to paste green screen and picture in picture and blue and all that stuff so I got this clip here and if I copy this and come over here if I click command option U that would paste that and then you could do green screen stuff with that but it's not working for me but what that would come up to is this box So I just started editing my new project and I want to have a title at the beginning of my video. So we can either go all the way up here in title and then find it here or we can just click command 3 and that will come up with titles and we can bring in our title. And we can select our title here like I like industrial. And then we can edit our title. So I have my title here, and I want to put in this video here. So let's do that. And so we're watching that, and it just comes like that. I don't like how that looks. I want to do a transition. So we can either come up to here and click transition, transition like that, or we can simply click Command. Four. That'll come up transitions. And since this is the fourth one, it's command four and it's command three. So if we click command one, that will come up to music, command two, photos, three, four, five, and obviously. So let's go to command four. And I like cross blur. So we can come here, do cross blur, and play that. So I like how this looks. This now I'm gonna do some adjustments to this clip. I wanna see if uh, I can like zoom in to this place more than and this place gets out of the frame. So what do we do? We need to click clip adjustments. So now as a half thing because I have my other finger on my track. If I have only one finger, that's gonna happen like that. So let's go to clip adjustments. We can either do like that, realize that our second finger is on a trackpad, or we can click I and clip adjustment comes up. And we can make this clip, uh, let's make it a little longer. Let's make it 4 15 minute long. So I'm um, I need to find the correct clip to put in after this, so 
this thing's too long how will I do this quickly so I can find the correct clip well if you hit the right arrow what while you're playing this it will go faster motion so hear this and see it. so I believe there are two or three settings so you click it once so it'll go uh, fast as this and if you click it two times, it will go as fast as this. So, let's say I had this gigantic project that I need to start playing from the beginning. But I don't want to scroll all the way to the left. What can we do? We can click backslash and start playing from the beginning. Or let's say I just want to play from there. Um, we can click uh, forward slash. And I'll start playing from the beginning of that clip. No, we don't have to just, like try to find the beginning and hit space and play. We just click um, backslash, I mean forward slash, and we can start playing from the beginning. And for number one in uh, iMovie shortcuts is full screen. So we want to do full screen. What do we do? We click. Uh, what do we click? Okay, let's start looking from here. Uh, oh, look. Full screen mode. Or we can just click Command 6. And that will come up to our video. And we hit Space. And we can start playing from the beginning. Or like we learned from the other, uh, other tip. Say backslash, but backslash doesn't work here, so space will do. Or as you saw over here, we can use Command G to play back in full screen. Thank you for watching my video on the top 10 iMovie shortcuts. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to let me know that people are actually watching my videos, and I will roll out more for you as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.